to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well why would you not expect it right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do from becoming an Olympic gold medalist to becoming the heavyweight world champion to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allows him to find success in the UFC. He's gonna have to mix everything up. Sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world. Felt like this was the next professional challenge. Perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for. Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here tonight. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and they look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. The biggest superstar this game has ever seen has graced the octagon. McGregor is ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. Let's do it. So here is Conor McGregor once again. You know about the physical gifts, but in the past, he has beaten guys mentally before they even make the walk. Very intimidating proposition to fight one Conor McGregor, and this one's underway. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Oh, how clean is that jab by McGregor? Fight behind a nice jab. Clipped him with the right hand there. Beautifully timed and placed. 
One kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight. But if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue on this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, hook at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Nice crack there. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, really making good use of his reach. Oh, Space. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Another punch to the head. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not... One guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on his way. over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, McGregor's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate up there. Right on the ball. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown... Oh! sort of smell blood in the water, and that was a finish I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he will be motivated. Wow. Ooh, diving punch fans. Oh, oh, big ground strikes continue to land. He's gotta be careful here. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh my goodness! Yes. do it! Oh my God! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. 
So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.